you brought that up. Go ahead, John. Were you going to ask something to follow up? Yeah, on I, I'm going to go. That was a lot of information that you, you started out of the gates for us. So I've got a lot of questions. I'm sure Scott does too. But I want to go all the way back to the beginning where you talked about the craft that you saw. Or, or Well, I guess first yes. of all, I need to ask that. What did it? Was it an orb of light or was it an actual craft? And I say craft because you mentioned that there was levels to it. Yes, it was. It was a saucer shaped okay. um, craft. It had levels, and I could see little round green lights all over it. Okay. And I could see a, a green glow. And and you know, um, a little while later, when I started shooting the documentary, I was talking to my dad on the phone, and I, and he said, "What are you up to?" And I said, "I'm making a documentary on UFOs." He didn't say anything, and I said, "Dad." Do you remember? And then he blurted out that green thing on the road to Isfahan. <laughs> I said, yeah. And that was so, kind of a confirmation. What do you think? You mentioned a black tube came out of the ground. That sounds yeah. a lot like that's almost like a docking station or something. And when this craft came over that black tube, you said, boom, it was gone. And I'm assuming that it either disappeared in an instantaneously or did it go down into the earth oh, oh, it went down it went down in the blink of an eye it just went shoo, like that i saw it go shoo, it didn't disappear i saw it go shoo, the whole thing the tube the cylinder this thing went the moment it aligned the top of the cylinder the cylinder just went down into the ground at the at the speed of like the blink of an eye of lightning and this thing just boom you know went with it like it just the whole thing just boom went down and okay. um the um as far as the descent the angle of descent i was actually taking a pilot's license um and it really did have the feeling like with hindsight you know uh, of an angle of descent like this thing was literally coming in for landing and this thing came out of the ground and it went on top of this and then whoosh, it just went like that into the earth um so yeah i mean it, it was a craft wow. it had stages it had lights um it went down so i mean it sounds it sounds like it sounds mechanical it sounds sci-fi um yeah. and i know oh yeah and one thing you know i i tend to avoid trying to put our own technology into the world of angels um uh, uh like in the sense that i don't want to project you know 20th century uh science fiction or human thought into into it but I, I, this is what I saw. I remember talking to a preacher from Australia who wrote a book. Actually, he, he, he was a person who felt that, no, the, the angels had no substance and this entire thing was just a mirage. Actually, I, hmm. I said, okay, why don't you come to my documentary and, and, and tell your story? And, and he refused uh, because of some of the other guests that I had. And I said, look, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can say your piece. I'll, I won't edit it. I'll, I'll, I want people to think. Maybe you're right. But he, but for him, the, so he told me that one of his parishioners left the church because he wrote him a letter and said, look, I actually saw one fly over my house in Australia and it was a nuts and bolts UFO. And so I can't believe your perspective anymore. So mm -hmm. he, this was, you know, sharing the story. So, you know, this is whole idea of the nature. And then there's the orbs of light that you mentioned that you clearly you see these videos and it's clearly an orb of light and the abduction phenomenon when people say they get abducted i have all these drawings given by that i got from dr jacobs that were given to him by abductees that you can see on my website thinkingandproductions.com and click on the photo gallery and there are people who draw and what i find interesting by the, about these drawings is that everybody draws the same thing People who don't know each other from all different parts of the world. Oh, yeah. uh, I mean, they're not exactly looking the same because of their drawing skill, but you can see it's the same thing they're expressing. And children, children, kids have drawings. And I put some of those drawings in my documentary so that kids who, you know,